Mr. Chairman, thank you. Uh, thank you. Uh, I rise in opposition uh, to the bill in, in its current standard. But, but there are some really good things in this legislation. Um, and I'll talk about why I, I can't support it at this time. But first, I want to thank my dear friend, Chairman Price, for his work on the THUD portion of the bill, and most importantly, as the chairwoman said, for his lifetime, lifetime of honorable service to this uh, country. Mr. Price will be, I know that the committee and the Congress uh, uh, will miss him, and uh, he's been, frankly, a, a privilege to work with. Not that we don't have disagreements, but, but we always work through those disagreements in a respectable, respectful, uh, open process. And evidence of his life service can be found in this bill as well as other past uh, THUD bills. Uh, one example, Mr. Chairman, is the manufactured housing uh, initiative that will, frankly, help revitalize communities across the nation. Chairman Price listened to stakeholders and, and developed this innovative program with his characteristic, characteristic deep understanding of policy. I've said, and I know he doesn't feel it, it, it's a negative thing on the country, I say it with great compliment, that he is a total policy wonk, Mr. Chairman, and, uh, and this is one of those areas where you see his policy involvement. Uh, some of you may not know that the Appropriations Committee unanimously voted to name this initiative the Preservation and Reinvestment Initiative for Community Enhancement Price. Uh, after Chairman Price, and uh, I want to thank the Chairman for including the funding that he did for port infrastructure. Uh, I want to also mention that uh, uh, he and I and the entire THUD committee have always made safety a priority, uh, and this bill continues in that tradition. The bill modernizes air traffic control systems to ensure that they are the safest in the world, uh, as well as it makes progress in road and rail safety. Uh, we share a priority of supporting American innovation, and whether it's automated vehicles to unmanned aircraft in commercial space or to commercial space, this bill makes key investments in those areas as well. Uh, and it provides over $300 uh, billion dollars, um, above last year just, just to maintain HUD current rental assistance programs. And, and that's something that obviously that we all support, but, but I want to mention that those are things that once we do, we have to continue to fund every single year. And uh, obviously I support renewing this assistance, especially to our, the elderly, our disabled, and our veterans. Uh, but again, much of the HUD spending in this bill will create new uh, liabilities for future years. For example, the bill expands Section 8, program that obviously we all know about, uh, by $1.1 billion. This new uh, spending would in essence require several billions in renewables, uh, renewable uh, funding for renewing it in future years, so it in essence becomes a de facto mandatory requirement which creates many, many issues. So let me be clear, I cannot support the bill in its current spending level. The bill uh, was written under unrealistic top line numbers set by the majority, and as a result, this bill has an overall increase of 12% above last year, uh, which is, again, uh, uh, not acceptable. Inflation is at a high year, 40 year high. The gentleman's time's expired. I yield, uh, gentlemen, a minute. The gentleman's recognized. Thank you, Madam Chairman, uh, uh, ranking member. So, again, inflation is at a high year, uh, 40 year high, and contrary to what some say, we cannot address inflation by spending more money, by continuing to spend more and more money. So instead, we need an agreement that reduces excessive spending, that balances defense and non-defense spending, uh, and again, re removes all uh, of the controversial riders. Once that happens, uh, Mr. Chairman, I'm confident that uh, we will be able to reach an agreement that this House and the majority and the minority can live with. Uh, but again, I want to thank uh, Chairman Price uh, for his leadership, for his friendship, for his openness. He will be missed. And I would be remiss if I didn't thank uh, the chairman and the ranking member of the full committee for their leadership. Uh, I'm confident that we'll eventually be able to have numbers that we can live with, uh, have a bipartisan bill, uh, bill, but until then, I have to oppose a bill. I yield back.